An anvil is an absolute necessity to what I do. The basic function of the anvil has remained the same for thousands of years. This is the base of the anvil, and the protrusions that stick out are the feet of the anvil. This is the body of the anvil. This flat section is the face of the anvil. This is the shoulder of the anvil right in here, and this is the horn of the anvil for the obvious point that it resembles a horn. Now there's several different things about an anvil that are used constantly. The square hole on top of the anvil is called the hardy hole, and it is called that because there's a tool, a cutting tool called the hardy that fits into the hardy hole. Now I, what I would use this for is for heating metal, you'd lay it over here and strike it to cut it off on the hardy. There's also the pritchel hole, which can also be used for mounting tools, but the main use of the pritchel hole is for bending rods. If you have a rod that you need bent at a 90 degree angle, or any angle, you can stick it heated into the pritchel hole and bend it to form it. Now, the face of the anvil is extremely hard and it's tempered, so it bounces a hammer. And that saves you a little bit of work. If you notice while I'm working, I'll strike the metal and I'll hit the anvil face and it saves me a hammer blow from having to lift the hammer all the way back up. That also keeps me from denting the face of the anvil. Now the horn is softer and it does not bounce the hammer and that keeps the horn from breaking off. So the face of the anvil is mostly used for flattening and or shaping large pieces of steel and is definitely the most used section of the anvil. The horn of the anvil is used for curving or bending things. The hardy or cutoff tool on the anvil is used for cutting hot iron. This is my anvil. This is my passion. Oh, the anvil and the hammer are my fingers. Oh, that was big. Yeah, that was a good one. Everything started right out there at the forge.